The Dazzling Dream event is now live in Pokemon Go, and I've decided to go on a little mini adventure. I just left Orlando on the Brightline train, and I've come all the way to Miami because, for one, I just wanted to get a change of scenery, but I've also come to Miami because there's something that I can only get here right now, and I really want to get my hands on it, and you'll see what that is in just a second. But our main goal is to get a shiny cutie fly today since that was released, and we have a wild one right here, and unfortunately it's not shiny. From what I heard, these are pretty uncommon, but we'll see what we can do. But we also have some timed researches to do as well while we're here, so we have to catch 20 fairy type Pokemon, spend 20 Pokestops or Gems, and earn 3,000 Stardust and hatch an egg. But not only that, we have some collection challenges, so we have to catch and evolve every single one of these Pokemon, and then we have to hatch every single one of these, and every single one of these come out of the sevens. And here is what's in the seven kilometer eggs. We have Togepi, we have Swirlix, we have Spritzy, and we also have ourselves the Cutie Fly, and apparently Cutie Fly hatched from these eggs has a higher chance of being shiny. So you know we're gonna be doing that. Yeah, now that we've gone through all of that, let's just go out and explore, see what we can find, maybe get some shinies. Plus, I haven't been to Miami in a little while, so it's gonna be nice walking around. Well, collection challenge number one is down. Let's see what we get for the final rewards here. We're gonna get a thousand Stardust. We're probably gonna get the same amount of XP. No, we're getting 2,000 of that. And an encounter with a Carbink. That's kind of fun. 606. I don't think that's very good, but let's catch it real quick. I will say I don't really care that much if it's good or bad or not, because I did recently hatch a hundo from a 10 kilometer egg, but let's see what this one turns into. A 606 is, yeah, 13, 14, 10. And here I have three power of a Pokemon 10 times quests. This has a one in three chance of giving you a cutie fly, but you can also get Spritzy and Swirlix from them, so we'll see what we get from these. Hopefully we'll get a pink cutie fly, but that's a Swirlix. From what I've heard, when it comes down to wild spawns, those cutie flies are pretty rare. I did instance two of them recently, but other than that, I haven't seen a single one. And so far, these researches are not the best. I would recommend powering up a level one Pokemon. It makes it easier. But we didn't get a single cutie fly from those. Happy to say we finally hatched an egg, which means we've completed all of step one of two. So let's claim these encounters and see what we get. I'm hoping Cutie Fly is a part of it, and there is one of them, okay. I don't believe all of these are Cutie Flies, but it would be really cool if they were, because I would like the extra chances. I honestly have not seen one in the past, like, 30-something minutes. So let's see what number two turns into. It is a Swirlix. Yeah, I'm assuming a Spritzy's gonna be in here, too. Number three is going to be a Spritzy. How did I know? And the fourth one is going to be a Carbink. All right, 597, so that's worse than the 606. And for the final reward, we get two premium battle passes, that's pretty nice. A star piece, and we're also gonna get ourselves 3,000 XP. And now we have to earn two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10,000 Stardust. But we get a lot of encounters from this, so I'm excited to do it. Plus, I have a whole bunch of 7Ks that are about to hatch. Another really big goal that I want to do during this event is to get a hundo of either this orange or the white flower full of baby. Obviously, I'd love to have both, but they're just so uncommon. This is the first one I've seen, and it's been over an hour since the event has started, which is pretty crazy. But let's see how good this incensed one was. It's it's definitely not even close to a hundo. 302, nice. In life, we go through many transformations, sometimes even daily. Like right now, I'm currently in vlogging mode, but once I get home, I transform into my chef mode and I make delicious home-cooked meals. And speaking of transformations, have you heard about the brand new mythical heroes coming to Raid Shadow Legends? That's right, Raid Shadow Legends, the hit mobile hero collection RPG played by over 80 million players across the world. They have over 800 unique champions to choose from with billions of ways to customize them as well. And the best part about this game is it's free. And now Raid has added brand new mythical champions to the game. And how you get your hands on them is by using the brand new red primal shards at the portal. And as of right now, there's only five different mythical champions, but since they have two forms, that's ten brand new champions. Both of the mythical champions' forms use the same artifacts, accessories, masteries, and blessings, so be careful when you're using them. But not only do we have brand new mythical champions in the game, we also have the Cursed City. The Cursed City is one of Raid's biggest features since the Doom Tower, with over a hundred stages to complete, including stages where you'll need to take down two of Raid's bosses at the same time. And as you work your way through the Cursed City, you can get Get your hands on a mythical champion as well, so make sure to download right away so you don't miss out. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description box below or scan my QR code and you will get insane bonuses that you can only get through my link. And what will you be getting, you may ask? Well, you're going to be getting the epic champion Drake, which looks really cool. He's from the Lizardmen and personally that's my favorite faction. But that's not all. We also have a promo code for you, Raid Xmas, and when you use that, you'll get even more rewards. You can find me in the game under JT Valor and you can join my clan, the Shiny Clan. So make sure to click that link and I'll see you and raid. And now we have the nine seven kilometer eggs. This is the first batch of the entire event. Let's see if we get that shiny cutie fly. They're supposed to be boosted, so we got a spritzy. In the end of the day, we do want to hatch one of each of them just for that collection challenge. So this one's going to be another spritzy. I really hope the cutie flies aren't like impossible to see in these things. Number three is a, okay. Was well, a swirlix, cool to see it, cool to see it. Kind of fell apart there, but anyways, number four is a cutie fly. All right, so now all we have to do is see a togepi. Five is going to be another spritzy. Six is going to be another swirl. Lucky number seven, will you be 
a shiny cutie fly? No, but you'll need me another spritzy. Number eight is a Togepi. Okay, so we got one of every one of them. So far, only one cutie fly, though. Not a huge fan of that. But the last one is another Swirlix. Okay. It's looking like the Stardust is racking up. We've made it to 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and wow. Literally, that entire batch took care of the entire quest. And just for fun, let's take a look through these things real quick and see what we got. Maybe we got a hundo or something like that, but it's not looking like we did. Yeah, a lot of bad IVs, but whatever. That really took care of a lot of stuff for us. Well, I guess it's time to claim some rewards, so let's get this final little bit here for the collection challenge. We're gonna get 15,000 dust, that's crazy, and 30,000 XP. I believe that was the paid one, and I don't know who exactly gifted that to me. I think it was ABR, but if I'm wrong, I apologize and thank you to whoever did it. But let's see what this is. It is another carbink, okay, and a 593, so it looks like the 606 is the best one we'll see. And now it's time to claim all of these encounters. There's quite a few of them, so let's see what we get. Number one is going to be with a cutie fly. Love to see it. I have a feeling like it's gonna be a lot of cutie flies, spritzies, and swirlixes. So with that being said, am I right? Is this a swirlix? It sure is. Okay. Well, let me guess. Spritzy for this one, right? I'm feeling spritzy. It's a spritzy. Okay. But now I'm curious, does the cycle continue or do we get some new stuff? This one's gonna be a cutie fly. Okay, so maybe it just goes over those three. So you would be a swirlix, right? Come on, swirlix. Yep, it's a swirlix. And then of course we have a spritzy, but this time it's a purple spritzy. Nope, it's not. Then one would assume this is a cutie fly that is sadly not a pink one. And then we only have three more encounters, so that might have been the last cutie fly because we already know that this is a swirlix. And this one is probably going to be a spritzy. Yes, it is. And then for the final rewards, we get a start piece. We're going to get ourselves 6,000 XP and a car bank. Yep, who would have guessed? And this one's a 598, so it looks like that 606 truly was the best one we were going to get from all of those encounters. Now just get in your home, please. There we go. Well, now that we're done with all of that, I'm really hungry. I've been up since like 4 a.m. making sure I would get to the train station in time and yada yada. So I'm thinking, let's get our hands on some sushi. The only downside is that it's Miami. It's a very expensive place, and I know that there's a lot of expensive sushi places here. So I'm gonna see what I can find around. I've seen one place online that's actually open right now that doesn't look too bad price-wise. So let's see how it is. Okay, I know I said I was gonna get myself some sushi, but when I saw the words Cuban Benedict, I had to go for it. I love Cuban sandwiches, and let me tell you, that was fantastic. But you know what else is fantastic? Shiny cutie flies, like this one. No, dang. But anyways, we're gonna keep hunting around, seeing what we can find. Plus, we're very close to that one destination that I was mentioning earlier, and we're gonna get some exclusive stuff that you can only get in select parts of the world, so looking forward to getting it. Well, my rocket balloon came in, and it was a gibble, so that's exciting. Let's see if we get ourselves a good shadow gibble. This one is a 381, it's not bad. You want them to be in the 400s when they're weather boosted, it's like flow 400, so I feel like this thing is okay, but it's definitely not something we're probably gonna keep. It's still really cool to see it, because this is one of the few rockets that kind of guarantees what you're getting. At least usually that's the case. Occasionally, I think there's a Lolan Executor in the middle, and you could get that one, but we had a Dragonair in the middle on this one. Anywho, 381 is going to be a 1556. At least it has 15 attack. And now we finally reached our destination, or at least I'm close to it. I don't know exactly where it is, but as you can see right here, we have a Pokestop that is called Vindy X Fragment X Pokemon. And Fendi is one of those really, really expensive designer brands, kind of like Gucci and stuff like that. But yeah, right now they're doing a collaboration for the Year of the Dragon, so there's a lot of Dragonite merch, yada yada. And quite frankly, I don't even know if I'm allowed to go in the store or not, because it's one of those places that has security guards in it. And also the price for these items are pretty darn expensive. But luckily spinning this Pokestop right here won't charge me anything, so let's do that right now. And when we spin this, we're supposed to be getting some items. There we go. We've got the Fendi Fragment Pokemon goodies right here. There was a code that went out that gave you the hoodie for free, but now we have ourselves the hat and the shirt. Let's see if we can find the shirt real quick. It should be one of the first things we have though. Maybe not. Let me just dig through and see if I can find it real quickly here. Okay, I was under the wrong tab. Here's the sponsor tab. But as you can see right here, we have the, you know, hoodie. This is the one that you get with the code. But then we have ourselves the shirt here, which apparently in real life costs $850. And here's the hat that costs $650. Pretty ridiculous, but we get to have them for free in the game. So might as well just do it. I don't know how long I'm going to actually keep this outfit on, but it's cool to get it. Apparently, you can go to any Fendi store in the world. There isn't a lot of them, but I believe most of them have a Pokestop on them, and you can do this all the way until January of 2025 if you really want to. So go on their website and look for the stores. Now that we spun that stop, though, I do want to find the store and see if we can see some of that merch through the window. I don't believe you're allowed to just walk in. I think you need to have an appointment, yada yada, because it is one of those kind of places. Like, check out this Dragonite keychain here. I thought this was $100. Turns out, it is $650, just to give you an idea of what this place is like. And this is one of the lower things. 
things. But yeah, let's see if we can try to find the store and see the stuff through the window. Or it's very possible they can read my bank account from here and they're cloaking themselves from me. Okay, so it turns out that this Fendi stop is in the wrong location. As you can see, that sponsored stop on the top left there, that's the Fendi Polka stop, but apparently the pop-up shop's right behind me over here. I can't see any of the Dragonite stuff from here. I'll go take a look and see, but it's definitely one of those that gotta let you in kind of places. So I'm probably not gonna be able to go inside, but we'll see what I can see. Well, unfortunately, I could never find any of the stuff. I think they put it all in the back because they didn't want people like me trying to look for it and stuff like that. It is what it is, but we are now on the Hop on Hop Off bus, and I've got some eggs ready to go, so let's see what we get from these. Hopefully, we will get something shiny out of these eggs. That'd be pretty cool, like that. I would love to see that. Again, apparently they're boosted, and they've done this before with things like Norlol, so I wouldn't mind if it happens, especially because they seem pretty rare in the wild. This one is a Togepi. Number four, another Togepi. Five is a oh, Swirl. Six, another Swirl. I'd like to see more cutie flies, please. More than just one. This one is another Swirlix. This one's gonna be, oh my goodness, please, oh please, cutie fly. Nope, wow. Had another not so great batch. Well, let's see what we got in terms of IVs. Anything a hundo, but it's looking like a no, even though some of those Swirlixes were close. the hop on hop off bus and we have nine more of these eggs so let's see what we get from them hopefully we'll get something good number one is a cutie always happy to see a cutie fly but number two is another cutie fly awesome this batch has already beaten most batches this one is a swirlix this one is a well okay spritzy is what it's called i don't know what's going on with my brain today probably the four hours of sleep but anyways togepi next up we've got another cutie fly and then there was a togepi and this one's gonna be another togepi all right a lot of those and this should be the final egg, I believe it's going to be a spritzy. All right. Well, unfortunately, our time in Miami has come to an end. It was a great time, but no shinies, very surprisingly. But it's time to take the Bright Line train over here back home. And when we get back home, we're probably going to get ourselves some shinies. But for now, I have like four hours on this train. So I'll see you when it's done. Many hours later. So I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I was just invited to a Hisuian uh, Typhlosion raid. But I am going pretty fast, so do I get to stay? Oh, I get to stay. That's very surprising. I really thought I was gonna get kicked out, and I feel like I'm gonna get kicked out of the other ones, but at least we got to do this one. So if it's weather boosted, we want a 2138, and if it's not, we want a 1710, and this one is a 1677, so it's not weather boosted. Also, there is a child that is very unhappy right now. No idea why. Also, no XL Rare Candy. I think we can get those. But let's see what happens with this one right here, right now. Do we get a shiny on the first one? We do not, but that looks so good. We'll see how many of these I can actually catch slash do, but I'm hoping I can do a few of them. We've got about another hour left on this trip. Rain, so we'll see. I definitely feel like I'm gonna get kicked out of this one. We're going really fast now, so probably getting kicked out. But Bridget, thank you very much for inviting. Yeah, definitely getting kicked out. All right, everybody, we're officially off the train now and I can finally do more of these Hisui and Typhlosions. I was also like speed capped because I did catch the first one. And then because of that, I accidentally made it so that I couldn't even catch any more of them. And I couldn't catch anything when I got to the station either. But luckily that's over with. I was able to catch stuff so I could actually do these raids, catch them and hopefully get a shiny. We're only three in. And I feel bad for everybody who's been sending them. Thank you to everybody who's doing it. It's not that I didn't want to join. I really did. And number Please stand clear of doors and hold on the handrails. The doors are now closing. Number four is now officially done. I don't know what I got the there. Link is now we got a rare XL. I really don't know what this is. Let's just take a look. It's a 1670. And here's number five. Let's see what we get with this one. It is a 1676. We're getting a lot of 70s. How about a rare XL though? No. But will this one be the blue one? That'd be cool, but it's not a shiny still. Only five down and I think we can do 17 of them. It's supposed to be 20, but I did do three remote 
points, I do believe. Either that or we can only do 16. And here is Hisui and Typhlosion number six. I'm in the airport right now. Not that I'm gonna go on a flight or anything, but it's right next to the Brightline station for us. Quite frankly, I wanna get some food real quick and I also wanna just power through all these raids before going home because I'd rather not be in an Uber while I'm doing this. Sadly, no XL Rare candy from this one, but will number six be the shiny? Because that'd be cool, but it's not, unfortunately. And on the upside, Australia should have just started now, so we should be able to get more from them as well and we should be able to power through this faster. But again, thank you to everybody who was sending them to me. Again, it's not that I didn't want to join them. I really, really did. But you know, there's really nothing I can do when I'm traveling 100 plus miles an hour on a train. Lucky number seven comes all the way from Australia, from Masingo specifically. Thank you very much again for sending it. We got a 1666 on this one, but did we get the XL Rare candy? Sadly, no. But will lucky number seven be the blue Hisuian? It's not. I just now realized I never went over calendars for this thing. Use ground types, use rock types, use ghost types. Those are your best ones. Even water types work. Dark types as well. This thing actually has quite a few weaknesses. You could use a lot of stuff. And I mean, it's got decent moves and everything like that but for the most part. If you bring in water types and it has wild charge, that'd be bad. But everything else really isn't that bad. I mean, admittedly, he also has shadow ball, but it's only a three star rate. So you're probably going to take it down. No problem. This one was from Frosty Knife and it's a 1674. So what do we got in terms of items? Sadly, no XL Rare candy. But will number eight be the blue one? I'd just like to see it, but that's not it. Number nine is from Missingo yet again. Thank you very much, Missingo. I really do appreciate it. This one is a, well, 1697, very close to the Honda. Again, 1710 is the Honda, but how about an XL Rare candy? Oh man, we've had some bad luck with that. But in the end of the day, what I really want to see is just one shiny. So that's not it, sadly. We should either have only seven more or eight more of these that we can do today, and hopefully we'll get it. Though, obviously, we're going to be doing the remotes tomorrow as well. Frosty Knife for number 10. This one is a 1663. The odds are supposed to be one in 10, so, so far we're not under odds yet, but at least on the upside, we did just get ourselves an XL Rare Candy. But will we get it on the 10th one? I really, really hope so. It is not. Ah, man. 11 is from Missingo. We got ourselves an 83. How about items-wise? No XL Rare Candy. Now we're one over odds here. It is still not a shiny one. And here is number 12 from Missingo. That is a 1652. Not exactly the best. But how about those items? We can make it up. There we go. We got one. Perfect. I don't even care that it's bad. I just want to see the blue. So there it is. We got the shiny. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Took 12 raids. Again, one in 10. You can go over a little. You could get it right away. You never know, but very glad that we got it. Now let's see what happens. Maybe this one's pretty decent for PvP, maybe. I mean, not that it could do Great League. Yeah, definitely not. 13, 10, 10. It's all right. Doesn't matter, though. It's a shiny, and it's beautiful. Lucky number 13 here is a 1674. We have yet to get one in the 1700s. Hopefully, we'll at least get lucky with that later. Also, speed versus the roll. Thank you very much for the invite. Did we get an XL Rare Candy? We did not. But can we back-to-back -back it? That would be pretty cool. Back-to-back -back shinies? No. Number 14 from Missing Go. We got ourselves a 1692. Close to the 1700s. Let's see what we get here in terms of items. No XL Rare Candy. Oh, well, number 14. Have blue fur. It does not. All right. And here's number 15 from Frosty Knife yet again. We got a 59. Let's see these items, though. Sometimes when they're low IVs, they still don't come with XL Rare Candies. No worries at all. And it's a shiny, of course. Of course, it seems like the bad ones seem to be shiny, but that's fine. What I'm actually hoping for here is a shiny female of this because it turns out the females are far rarer than the males. I think that's how it goes for most starters in general, that males are far more common than females. So this one's a male. Perfectly fine though. I want to get as many of these as possible. And I think we can only do either two or three more raids. And by two or three, I mean one or two. I'm on number, I want to say 16 right now. So this is either the last one or we get one more after this one. Anyways, it was a 1674 and it did not come with a rare XL candy. Also, Missing Go sent this. Thank you very much, Missing Go. Do we get two in a row? We do. No freaking way. Let's go. Our luck is picking up near the end. Very, very happy about that. And this one's not half bad. 1674 is better than the other ones we got. But is it female? No, it is not, but that's fine. And here is raid number 17. This should be the last one of the day, and we get ourselves a 1668. No excels on the final raid of the day, but that's perfectly fine. Can we go three for three? We do not, but I did not expect that to happen. So either I've miscounted or maybe it got reset and I can do 20 of them today, which would be great. This one's a 1657. Missingo yet again sending it, but sadly no excels. And will this one be it? It's not.
the next day. And now it's day two, and we have another raid from Missingo here. I think I saw 1690 something, so that's kind of fun. Also, big shout out to Missingo. He's sending us a lot of these raids. He also does Twitch streams, so if you haven't checked them out, you totally, totally should. And we got two XL rare candies from that raid. That's pretty crazy. I did not expect to get two. But will we get a shiny for the first raid of the day? Technically, it's not a shiny and a 1695. Well, Missingo seems to be giving us a lot of good IV ones, which is really nice. Appreciate it. And here's another raid from Lachlan, so thank you very much for the invite. He is also in Australia, and he didn't give us our next hour of candy, but that's all right, because he's gonna give us the shiny. Also, it was like a 1680-something, and it's not even shiny. Never mind. But thank you again for the invite. And back to Missingo with this one. It's going to be a 1675. I'm on XL Rare Candy. No, not on this one. But how about this shiny? No, it's not shiny. Another one from Missingo, and I completely missed the CP, and I didn't get an XL Rare Candy. So it is not a shiny and not the Hundo. Another one from Lachlan. We're getting a lot of Australian ones. This one is a 1677. And we got an XL Rare Candy. Thank you, Lachlan. Not only did we get that, we also got our fourth shiny right here. No, we did not, but that's fine. This is from Zamazenta Sita. Thank you very much. She's from Japan. And we got ourselves no XL Rare Candy, but this is a weather boosted one. I think it said like 2050 something. So let's see what it is. Not a shiny though. This is our first ever weather boosted one, which is pretty cool. Another one from Lachlan. And this one is going to be a 1663. Any XL Rare Candies though? No. And not a shiny for this one either. And back to Missing Go. Let's see what we get from this one. It's going to be a 1688. And we're going to get our hands on an XL Rare Candy. I was about to say we weren't going to get one, but I'm glad we did. And this, not a shiny one. This one's from Bob all the way in Japan. And this one is a 16, I think I saw 92. Sadly, no XL Rare Candies from that, but this one is not shiny either. Another one from Lachlan. And this one is a 1661. Still have yet to see any of these in the 1700s, but that's fine because maybe we'll get it tomorrow, but no rare candies. I guess I should probably say today, seeing that this is the next day. Anywho, it's a shiny. There we go. Took a little while to get this one, but it is what it is. This will be our fourth shiny, or maybe it's our fifth shiny. I've actually kind of lost count. Lachlan has been sending a few of them now. Thank you, Lachlan. This one is a 1688, and we get ourselves no XL rare candy, but can we go back to back again? We've done it before, but we didn't do it this time. And we're back to Missing Go, and this one was a 1663. Not exactly the best. Sadly, no XL Rare Candy, but will you be blue as well? You are blue. All right. I mean, we're getting a decent amount of shinies. I really can't complain at all. Let's just auto catch that one real quick. Another one from Zamazita. It's not Zamazenta Sita, but obviously the Pokemon name really got me thinking that. Anywho, this one was a 2085, which is not bad, all things considered. Not quite the 2138, though, so technically, actually, this is pretty decently bad, but... Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I got kicked out from the encounter, so that's weird. That keeps telling me to walk closer, but I can't. Can I, can I get back in my raid? Well, I guess I lost this one. Cool. Missingo, yet again. This one was a 1666 with no XL Rare Candies. And this one will be not a shiny. And I also never got the Japanese one that I just did before this one back. It is what it is. No idea what really what happened there, but at least we got 20 encounters with this thing. Another from Missingo, 1675, I think is what I saw. Come on, XL. Yes, we got one. And a shiny as well. Let's go. Oh, this is great. And another Typhoon from Bob in Japan, but this one is a 1650, I think is what I saw, but Bob gave me an XL Rare Candy. Thank you, Bob. Now let's see if we get another shiny back to back. No, we did not. Not that I'm complaining. We've done that once already, and it feels pretty good that we've done that. Mazingo, yet again, what are we going to get from this one? A 1659. And XL Rare Candy. Perfect. I was also yet again requested to mention that not only does he do these Twitch streams, but he also has some of the best low tier PvP content you possibly asked for so go ahead and check him out and the shinies he brings now nah, never mind but he's done it a few times though and i think this is going to be the last one missing go can send to me because i believe that it's almost over for him for this event we got a 1679 and we got a rare xl candy from him from probably the final raid how about a shiny for the final raid i mean we've already gotten a few but we did all right missing go thank you so much man seriously you've been sending a lot of these we're getting very close to the end now but bob has sent another 
another one. This one's a 1646 though. That is the lowest one I've seen so far. Does it at least come with an XL Rare Candy? It came with two, there we go. Bob, thank you very much. And not a shiny, but that's fine. Two Rare XLs. This is definitely close to my last one and it's from Princess and she gives me a 1665. Thank you, Princess, very much appreciate it. And I would especially love it if I got an XL, but I didn't. Still appreciate the invite though. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. And this is a shiny princess with a shiny hookup. Thank you so much. Well, out of 37 to 38 raids, we got eight shinies, which is really good, especially if it's supposed to be a one in 10 odd rate. We blew it out of the park on that one. And I believe one of these was female. Yeah, this one's a female, which is really cool. Let's just go through and see if there was another one. But I think that the rest of these are all males. Yeah, they're all males except for that one. So I'm glad I got that female because again, female starter shinies are very, very rare. And also speaking of shinies, on the way home in the Uber, I did actually run into this Clefairy, which is pretty cool, but I didn't record it, you know, like actually talking about it because I was in the Uber. I don't really like doing clips in Ubers, to be honest with you. Sometimes I do it if it's like really big, but otherwise I kind of just record it and then just talk about it later. Big shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. It's because of sponsorships like this that we're going to have some really cool things in the future that I'm really excited to show you guys. So again, don't forget to click that link in the description box below. It helps support this channel and support them. And once again, thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Show me some love. We're trying to hit 200,000 subscribers and we're getting pretty darn close. And also let me know in the comments down below how you did with this Typhlosion Raid Day. Did you get a whole bunch of them? Did you not get any at all? Please let me know. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video down here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.